In part 1 of this video, we found out that we could get rid of even roots by using an even exponent. We also found out it was important to check our final answers in the original equation whenever we cleared an even root. Again here, we have a square root. To get rid of a square root, we must square both sides of the equation. On the left, square and square root are inverses, and we're left with 40 minus 3x. On the right side, we must square this binomial by squaring the first term. 2x squared is 4x squared, and then the product is there twice. 2 times negative 5 is negative 10, and another negative 10 is negative 20x. Finally, square the last term. Negative 5 squared is positive 5, 25. Just as before, to solve an equation with x squared, we must make it equal to 0 and factor the equation. Because x squared is already positive, let's move everything to the right by subtracting 40 and adding 3x to both sides. When we do, we get 0 equals 4x squared minus 17x minus 15. Once it equals to 0, we'll want to factor the equation. To review factoring, you can watch some of the previous videos on factoring. This equation ends up factoring to 4x plus 3 times x minus 5. Once we're factored, we can set each factor equal to 0. 4x plus 3 equals 0, and x minus 5 equals 0. And then we can solve each of the resulting equations. By subtracting 3, 4x equals negative 3, and dividing by 4 to get our first answer for x, negative 3 fourths. Again, adding 5 will give us x equals 5 for our second solution. We still will want to check these answers before we say they're our final answer. To do that, we go back to the original equation. Let's check the negative 3 fourths first. Plugging it in, we get the square root of 40 minus 3x, which is negative 3 fourths, will hopefully equal 2x, which is negative 3 fourths, minus 5. Multiplying inside the radical, we end up with 40 plus 9 over 4 equals, multiplying on the right, negative 6 fourths, which is, reduces to negative 3 halves, minus 5. Adding, by getting a common denominator, we'll end up with 169 over 4, equals, subtracting, by getting a common denominator, negative 13 halves. Taking the square root of negative 169, recalling that we can take the square root of a fraction by taking the square root of both the numerator and the denominator, we get 13 halves equals negative 13 halves. As you notice, these numbers are not the same, as 1 is positive and 1 is negative. This answer is an extraneous solution, and must be thrown out of consideration. It does not work in the original problem. We still have to check the x equals 5. So let's plug this into the original equation. We get the square root of 40 minus 3x, which is 5, equals 2x, or 5, minus 5. 3 times 5 is 15, and we get the square root of 40 minus 15 equals 2 times 5, or 10, minus 5. 40 minus 15 is 25, and 10 minus 5 is 5. Sure enough, the square root of 25 is 5, which is, in fact, equal to 5. This answer checks and works in the actual equation. This means the solution x equals 5 is the only solution to my equation. Be sure you check your answers whenever you clear an even root.